Hello everyone, it's me Speedy Gear here for a new series, Factory Town. Uh, so this is a simulation game. Uh, can't really describe it really well. Uh, kind of like uh, Factorio, but with a more chiller vibes. Uh, obviously with the background and everything, it is such a good game. So you basically make a uh, <laughs> make a town and you make it a uh, as efficient as you can by providing its resources like food, uh, iron, stone, whatever you get here, you process it, make some coins, and then you just develop, develop it further. It has the same principle as Factorio. Uh, I'll just lower the volume here a little bit. Uh, yeah, I haven't really played it that much, so I'm not really good at it. So I've only played maybe like a couple hours, 10, 20 hours maybe, and I still haven't really made it that far campaign there is a campaign here interesting so I haven't even done the campaign why don't we do the campaign actually instead of just doing a random custom game let's go shall we I was planning to do just a custom sandbox game but since there's a campaign might as well do it okay so before I played this I think it was still an early access but it was already like this, uh, so they just kind of polished everything out, like the details and stuff. Uh, but now I think it's a release. It's released fully with its 1.0 update, and we're just gonna play through it. Level one: A few settlers have founded a small village in the wilderness. Help it grow into a larger town by gathering resources, crafting useful goods, and building houses. There we go. So we're just, I'm just gonna move move my phone here a bit change the angle because I can't read the thing and gather wood to build and expand your town you will need to first collect lots of resources first start by gathering wood left click a worker then right click a tree and then drop off the base pretty simple stuff and it says to collect 15 wood 15 wood so might as well do another guy here it's a pretty game really uh, so everything's unlocked here in the island. Usually you just start off with like a small square. And on the top left here, you'll see your uh, some useful information here. Like this is your inventory. On your base, what you have right now, it says I got 50, 20 wood, which is perfect. So we got the level of your base, how many workers you can uh, you can hire or put out there number of houses and the number of houses will determine how many workers you can get uh, Happiness which will be very important later on to uh, The higher the happiness is the higher the production rate of your specific buildings will be and the coins here the different color coins gold coins is the very basic one you get that from selling food to your Houses here red coins are for processed goods blue is for I think medicine and then purple, I haven't really gone through there, but I think that's like magical stuff at that point. So that's done. Houses increases your population, like I said, limit, allowing you to create more workers. Open the building by pressing the B button, select house, then build a house. So it already plotted us out. Not really. There's a plot there, but can't put it because of the wheat. I'm just going to put it right across here, which is, which makes sense. Okay, now how the houses increase your population limit. Now you ha you can build. <laughs> it's funny that they said you can build more workers, but I guess you can build more workers to harvest and deliver goods. Open the build and place two workers. There, so there is the hot bar here too, which has uh, corresponding keys that you can access it better. But we're just gonna follow this for now. Uh, it costs gold coins, five to be exact, each worker. Coins are necessary to grow and run your town. Earn them by supplying houses with goods. Left click a worker and click grain or fruit, either one of this, and then put it in the house. So we're gonna put one and then potato here. Okay, it doesn't really tell us how much we need. I guess one is enough. Workers move fast, move much faster on paths. Open the build menu and select paths and foot paths. So footpaths require wood which is weird because put that there like I said uh, for if you've watched some of my videos I'm not the best at making things uh, aesthetically pleasing but I'll do my best 
Uh, I don't know why the footpath costs wood, but it's definitely just like dirt. Lumber mills turn woods into planks, which you will need for many buildings and upgrades. Gather five stone, open the build menu, and select lumber mill. Okay, so we're gonna use this guy to gather stone. Then we're gonna make a lumber mill. Oh, because it requires five stone to make them. Interesting, okay. We're just gonna place it this. Then we're gonna... Select the lumber mill, press the select recipe, and select planks. So, on your lower right, here's the select recipe. Then we're gonna click planks, and we're gonna need to provide it some wood. Now we're gonna put that worker right there. And then we're gonna hire... Actually, we're gonna have to deliver this plank to the base. Okay, perfect. Bring the plank from your lumber mill to your base to add it to your inventory. So same principle, left click to select a worker. One of these guys is just delivering wood. Uh, then hover on the lumber mill, click this, left click, and then drag it to deliver to the base. And that will be his job for the next little while. Okay, houses can be upgraded further to increase the population limit. Select a house, and then on your lower right, upgrade house. It will require five planks. So note, upgrade actions consume and items from the player's shared inventory, items stored within the base and barns. So that will be very important later on, because you won't be able to fit everything in one place. So you'll probably make a little settlement here to get you some specific items here, and then you can just put a barn, and then that will help you... Uh, create your expand your base basically oh there's a guy here uh, might as well make him do the lumber now we have enough planks and gold we're gonna click upgrade house see it was from 10 at uh, 12 now it's 14 your base can be upgraded to increase your house limit as well as your storage capacity select the base hit the upgrade button so when you see the green arrow above the base it means you can you have enough items in your base to actually upgrade it and the one thing is, you, you can't upgrade the base if you don't have the items in the base itself. So, it was saying a while ago that we can do shared inventory, but to upgrade the base, you have to have it in the base itself. There we go. House max increased by 4. New building unlocked. The grain mill, the food market, and the school. Awesome. Markets will sell items automatically to nearby houses, making it much easier to earn coins. Open the build menu, select food market. So there we go. Do we have enough resources? Not yet. We do need more planks. So we're de we're delivering two planks at a two woods here. So that should be plenty. Oh yeah, we're gonna. So here's the thing. Once you make a market. You don't have to put it into individual houses anymore. Delivering items to the market will automatically sell it to connected houses. Bring some grain, fruit, or vegetables. Okay. Note to use footpaths and roads. So we're just going to deliver it to the... There we go. We're just going to make a little path here for my little guy that's delivering potatoes. And we're going to make... Since it keeps on telling us to make fruit, don't, might as well ha harvest the apple tree here. Grain mill turns grain into flour, which can be sold for a higher price. Price get, uh, and is an ingredient in other goods. So there we go. So it will tell us to process the goods. So we're gonna make a grain mill. Just gonna put it right there, and we're gonna make a little footpath here, if we can. There we go. And we're gonna tame this little grain man instead of just doing it like that. We're gonna select the green meal, select recipe, and then we're gonna put flour. It does take three, and it takes four seconds to process. Here we go. And just so you guys know as well, each resource has a finite amount. So when you hover through it, you'll see on the upper right there, it says there's 28 grain on this little tile here. Sorry, tile here. So each square has its own finite resource. So for example, this Pacific apple tree has 106, this specific stone has 221. So take that into consideration later on in the game, it will give you access to 
uh, have it a little bit better. Then we're gonna make another guy and deliver the flower to the food market. And I think, actually, just one guy. So we're, I'm just gonna delete this guy. It'll automatically put back the number of workers. Add building working. Allocate spare workers to existing buildings to make them produce their food faster. You can increase or decrease at any time. Okay, so that's so. There's two ways to increase. I, there might be a third one. I'm not sure. Uh, to increase the production rate. See this speed here. That's how fast we're doing it right now to get a flower. So it takes four seconds. But if you get the speed into a higher rate, it will produce the wheat faster. Sorry, the flower faster. So one way is doing it is just adding more workers. One worker adds about 28%. But happiness, which is very important, it will add up to the production speed too. So you don't have to waste a lot of workers here, which I found out when I was practicing the game. It's just increase the happiness. School will let you research many useful things. Okay, so we're going to make a school. Best way to put a school is near the body of water. Not the school itself, but like... We're gonna put the school here, beside the base. The lumber will produce paper. There we go. This recipe requires water. You can tell a worker to bring water from a well or place a new lumber mill next to wa water to automatically supply it. So that's what I was trying to say. Because the lumber mill to make paper, we're gonna check here, you need water to provide it. So if you put the lumber mill close to a water source, you don't have to manually waste another person worker providing it so we're gonna put it here so it's gonna say link to 43 water if you put it closer it will give you more but it doesn't really matter i think that's the water per second it's just gonna be there so when you build it on like an uneven tile it will automatically place some uh scaffolding to make it level but that scaffolding will automatically reduce because that costs some wood to make. We're gonna make paper. We're gonna have a little boy. No, we don't have enough people. So we're gonna upgrade one house here. Make a person. Deliver some wood here. Of course, we're gonna put some pathway there. And then another person. Deliver the paper to the school. There we go. So we have 16 out of uh, 16. We're full. We're going to make another house. Doesn't really tell us to make one, but I will. It's going to make a footpath here. We're just going to follow the general design of the game here. So before when uh, I was playing it in beta, you have to put the the food market has this a radius. So you have to put all the houses close to it. But now they make they made it so that there's it will connect every houses to the market as long as it's connected to a road that's going to the market. Right? Oh it's not actually producing water because of the scaffolding. Interesting. So that's a bad so we're just going to delete that. So the, to delete it, just click it and then press delete on your keyboard. So what I'm going to do is keep put the lumber mill here. Put a guy there. Deliver some wood. And have another guy get some water directly from there. So that... That's the reason why I want to put it close to a body of water because it doesn't waste you an extra guy. Later on, there is a uh, there is a way to not do this. There we go. The school will need lots of papers and coins to complete the research. Select the school, hit the recipe, select sele uh, sorry, hit select recipe and choose any research recipe. Bring the paper to the school to complete its research so it doesn't tell us what to research but i'm gonna do woodworking there we go so it needs uh does it really tell us uh it needs 100 there we go above the woodworking it needs 100 paper basically to finish their research 
You can make it faster by making a more lumber mill or upping the production speed here. But I think we're just keeping up. Oh no, actually we have a lot of... So I'm gonna add a lot of another worker to deliver the paper here. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna upgrade another house. Let's upgrade all of them, shall we? We have, we have the money and the planks. And when I was playing it, I noticed it that just normal logging uh, is really fast now. Before, when I played it, it took a while to like empty a forest. But now, if you just leave it for like five, ten minutes, it, they will. No, <laughs> that's uh, exaggerated, but it does take it. It does. It is faster now to cut out a whole section of here. So we're outputting a decent amount of paper. And research is doing well with two people delivering paper. The faster, there is a faster way to delivering it because this guy only can bring one stuff at a time. Once we get the appropriate uh, research, we can unlock the wagon, which can carry four items at a time. This is where the tutorial might might as well make another guy delivering this to there. So all our houses are stocked up we have five more spots for workers we're doing good with money we have a nice variety of items we're selling which is great let's this is a little bit slower than I would like to but it's giving us enough planks anyway so that should be good so three guys it's two guys so it's empty out now so I guess two guys is okay now and this is just taking a while to make why don't we put since we have the workers here and Grain, we don't really need two people there. Uh, so we're... No, we don't need a third person. So 165%, so we're outputting 65% faster than a normal worker. So 65% of 40. I think that's around 3.2 seconds to make one, two papers. Oh, it makes two papers. Ah, nice. So that's not too bad. So we're almost done with our research. Hopefully it didn't tell us to do the masonry. So, so like I said, it's a beautiful game. Indie developers, definitely support them. Uh, if you like the game, just buy it out of Steam. It's not too expensive. I think it's like $20 or something. Canadian dollars. Uh, yeah, it's a good time waster. If you're, if you're a fan of Factorio, Oxygen not included, uh, this is a great game to try out. So research, completed research, woodworking. Now we have barns, crates, workshop, shoot, wagon. There we go. Victory condition. Each campaign map has specific goals. Completing them will unlock the next map. Follow the prompts to open the victory conditions menu or hit the V key. So we're gonna go click menu, click the up drop. drop. If it is it if it's upwards, is it still a drop down? Actually we're gonna call it an up down now. And then click victory condition. So we need to have our base to level 3, have a workshop, have a stone mason. Okay, so we're halfway there. That's the end of the tutorial. Soon you'll unlock many new technologies and gadgets to automate and optimize your chains. Good luck. Okay, so what do we need to upgrade? So we're gonna need wood wheels and stone bricks. So this is just giving us stone. We need to process it to make it to a stone brick. So to do that, we're gonna have to unlock masonry. Okay, and then so, uh, we need wood wheels too. And to make wood wheels, we need to get a workshop. So, uh, this is a little awkward. So we're going to put a workshop here. No, no, no. we're going to make the workshop here. Since we have the space, workshop. And we're gonna make wood wheels and it needs planks. 
So what we're gonna do is make another lumbar mill, because this is just focusing on making us planks to deliver to the base. And this guy is just gonna make planks, and we will dedicate two people. So you can highlight both of them. Click this tree, deliver planks there, and then we need another guy to get the planks delivered to the workshop, and we need another guy to get the workshop to get the wooden reels delivered to the base. And since we're out of capacity here, we're gonna just increase. Okay, we're gonna put a house here and a house at the top of the hill. Okay, it's perfect. So we have. And we're going to upgrade those, just for the heck of it. Like I said, we need one more person. Just going to put it there. Let's get this guy delivering wooden wheels to the base. And we need 10. And since we're wasting uh, manpower here, delivering two paper at a time, we're, well, if we can make the wagon, we'll make a wagon. And we'll, instead of two, just waste one population there. Perfect. Oh, told you to deliver it to the base, not to the to the school. Come on, my guy. And there is another way to make this more efficient instead of them going there, is by delivering a shoot. So we're gonna make a shoot here, and the guys delivering the wood to the lumber mill. You don't have they don't have to walk that far anymore. So, can't make it. There we go. So, we're gonna make this guy chop some wood and then deliver it there. There, perfect. So, the only thing that shoots can like pro process or move is unprocessed items like wood, stone, grains, carrots potatoes if it's processed you need like conveyor belt so where's this guy delivering this to is it to the base yes to the base where's the other guy that's delivering my wood to this oh this guy okay so you don't have to walk that far anymore you can just deliver it to the shoot okay masonry is complete so new building unlock stone mason road stone wall perfect so let's see the school we don't really need it anymore since all our research is done for this campaign level. So we're gonna sell these guys. Delete them so we don't waste any more people. And we can just focus on other things. We won't delete that building, so just to make it more aesthetically pleasing. And so we're gonna make a oh yeah. We do need someone to deliver. Oh, we don't we don't need it anymore because the research is done. But we can allocate that manpower in making stone bricks to make a stone brick get the stone mason select recipe and stone brick and we need someone or a couple people delivering stones oh to there and we'll just have a guy deliver stone bricks here and check the victory condition buildings are all done and we just need to upgrade our base I guess the campaign is a little bit of a tutorial, which is great, because I'm not really knowledgeable of the game yet, so I think this will make it better, instead of be just googling how to make stuff here. Now we need 20 more. It's not too bad. I love the artwork here too. It's like very simple, uh, very nostalgic of like old games, but at the same time, it's still very modern, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's such a simple game, but it's like, like for me, uh, the mechanics of the game is very important. The graphics is only like maybe secondary, maybe even not. But as long as the game makes sense, it's fun. I'll definitely have fun do it, playing it. 
So this guy needs three stones to make a stone brick and it takes four seconds to make one. And then having two people deliver it, it's pretty fast. But we're, what we're gonna do is increase the... to four people, since we have the people. So that's basically two seconds to take to make one stone brick. And we're gonna make... add a couple more people delivering. Oh yeah, this is a perfect time to show off the... Well, not really, it's just right across there. Okay, that's perfect. My guy, get some stones. <laughs> so right now, a lot of the stuff are still un uh, locked because of the campaign. But later on, I hopefully will get things rolling. So one more stone brick and we are good to upgrade. There we go. Victory! There we go, we're done with stage one and we're gonna go to the next campaign. Save before closing. Ah, don't need really to save it. I think you finish or see how far we can go to the stage second stage here. Perfect. Victory conditions. Happiness should be level f at 40, base level 4. We need a school, a farm, a forester, sandwich, warm coat, and cloth conveyor belt. Oh wow, this is very detailed. This, this just throws us into the game and... Oh wow, okay, okay. Alright, so we have a general store. Uh, we have a lumber mill that's delivering planks to the general store to make red coins. And we have this wagon delivering grain meal to the market. And we have a couple more people here. Okay, we need happiness. So to provide a lot more happiness, you'll need to diversify what you sell in the market and the general store. So to diversify it, you just have to deliver a couple more things. Like here, we got uh, apple trees here. We can deliver to this guy. Got a well here as well. Berries. So yeah. Uh, might as well do it since we're here. I'm gonna add the worker. Put the worker, deliver some apples to there. So what? So we need the upgrade here. We're gonna need a school to research some stuff. Uh, we're gonna make a school. Well, we can. Because we are locking stone. Do we have someone just providing a stone? Is it, or is it? Or both of them are. So this is actually not working because we don't have a splitter yet. So it doesn't split to go here every other way. It's a good idea though. So the stone bricks are full. We're going to have to have someone deliver that. Can we may have wagons? Yes, but we don't have enough resource. Just going to manually deliver it. And we're going to have someone deliver stones to the base. Because we're going to need it. Split paths there just to make it faster. But we're going to need a couple more houses. Might as well. Can make it there. Put it there. And we're going to put a little house somewhere around uh, here. Just down the hill there. Okay. So we're just thrown into the game. So we're, I'm just going to try to figure out what resources are being delivered to us. So we got one guy here delivering wood here. So we got wood. Nice. Stone though is not working. So we're going to add another person here just to make us get us some stones. So there. We got happiness 20 because we add apple to the food market. Which is awesome. So that is good enough for now. Oh, wait, what is this guy doing? So this guy is selling... Oh no, he's delivering to the... And this guy is... Selling directly to the general store. Okay, okay. And this gives us some... Uh, resource. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a school somewhere. 
I'm thinking somewhere with water and wood. So this is a no-no because there is water, but there's no wood. Mm, apples there. Can we make multiple food markets? I think before you can, there's like a maximum of that you can do. So we're probably gonna put it somewhere. Doesn't really flat, but maybe here. We do need someone to deliver wood. Now we have wood. It's just right here. Okay, school here. We're gonna make it here. Here it looks like a flat enough area. Not not really flat. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna make a footpath just over here. We're gonna have my guy school. It's close to the house. It's really uneven terrain. Okay, I have that there. And we're gonna have a lumber mill. There we go. Right there. Because this guy is gonna make us paper. Which will be needed. For our school. And we're gonna... Everything's locked. Because we need base level 3. So that's set up. So this is why I'm a little confused in what to do here. Uh, so first thing we need to do then is to upgrade our base to level 3, which will need... Wood wheels. We have a barn. We have a lumber mill here making... Uh, just planks. Okay. Okay, I think the game is telling us to make something here. So we're gonna have another lumber mill here. Can't afford. We're out of planks. Okay, this is really inefficient. It's nice that we need... So early game, we don't really need to sell at the general store yet. So we're just gonna dedicate this guy. Chopping some wood. And add another one. So we can have more and then just make sure he's actually delivering it to the base. Okay. So that's all set up to make uh, planks. And we're just going to need 20, which is not too bad. Stones is good. We'll just probably need one person doing it now. So what we can do is... So, we're gonna focus on what we can right now. And that is to make... To increase our happiness. So reducing the general store that did decrease our happiness. But worry not, uh, we can get some stuff going. So can we create a crate? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do, is have a crate here. And have a guy harvesting the crate. This is really inefficient, because I can't make any wood wheels uh, wagon. So I'm just gonna have a guy Have a guy deliver it all the way to the market. It's a sad job, but for now you have to make do. Okay, now we can make a lumber mill, which is awesome. No, well, it wasn't the lumber mill that we needed, did we? Oh, it was, it was just for the wood wheels. So, oh, lumber mill and a workshop. So that is there, and we're gonna need a workshop just beside it. We're gonna have this guy make some wood wheels. And then splikes. See, it says zero because we are fully cap full capacity. So what we're gonna do is add another house just right here. Does that, that connect? Yes, so eight, eight. And then we're gonna upgrade a couple houses here. We have 
pretty cool. Okay, there we go. Plus one worker, plus one worker. All right. We're gonna have a guy deliver this wood wheel to here. And we're gonna have a couple souls delivering wood to there. And then the guy here. The shoot is a nice idea though, but it's super close, so it's not too bad. Here too, it's the same thing. See, uh, that's the reason that why you want some wagons, because it can carry four at a time. Instead of wasting four people delivering one thing there. That's why I want this guy... ...to be done with that, because I'm gonna upgrade this too. So we're gonna upgrade this into actually a stone path, now that I think about it. There we go. Because I'm gonna have a wagon anyway delivering that in a short few here. Okay, we have three. I'm gonna prioritize making the wagon for now. Same thing here, I'll probably make this guy into a... ...a wagon. Okay, now we can sell you. I'm sorry, sir. You're fired. And have a wagon deliver it to the food market so a couple things here workers work, walk faster with footpaths but wagons move faster with stone paths I think it uh, it's fine for workers to move to the stone paths too it will make them walk faster so it's okay so getting that berries there sorted gives us good happiness going but not really that efficient so we're going to have to fix that fairly soon. I think what we want is to get a couple things here going. That should be fine. So that's okay now. We can only have one guy delivering stones. Got 10. Okay, we're gonna have to... I guess the worker is okay because it's not producing a lot. So it needs two planks and then we'll add another guy here for sure. Nice. Okay, so I think this is where I'm going to end the episode here uh, for our first episode of Factory Town. And so uh, we finished the first stage of the campaign and we're now in stage two. And the next episode, we're just going to continue and flow through it. Hopefully finish the second campaign on the second episode. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the new series, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click the notification bell as well. Uh, so that you get to follow me on more videos. I plan to release th this every other day So say I upload this today then tomorrow. I'll, I'll upload an episode of Stardew Valley and Then the next day I'll upload another episode of Factory Town. So does that sound good? Perfect. Well till next time Bye